Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be talking to you about AOC monitor. The AOC that I have is the 27G2 G4 G-Sync compatible monitor. I spent $350 Canadian and it's got 144 hertz. It's a really good monitor, very bright, good angle view. But unfortunately, this has happened to you. And I know a lot of people have opened it up, set it up, and it's happened to them way sooner than, than mine. Mine happened after just over a year and a half. You know, at first you're thinking, okay, maybe it's the cable. So you switch up the cable from HDMI display port, or you upgrade their display port and HDMI cable doesn't work. You change the computer. I've also changed it and put it on my other PC and still the same issue. But I'm gonna tell you, this is not something that you can, you can fix yourself. This is literally a panel hardware failure. It happens, especially with certain budget AOC monitors. Some people have said right after the box, this thing happens like after 48 hours. Technically speaking, what you're seeing is likely either a failed TCON board, a loose or damaged internal ribbon cable, or straight up dead pixels across the entire lines. And you can't fix this at home, guys. It's going down more and more. It's like loading up a photo back in the 90s when you had dial-up internet. <laughs> and this is not within my return video, so I can't return this at all. There's a quick fix to this, but again, it's temporary. So right now we're at the NVIDIA display panel. You can open it up on your settings and you choose, it's PC chosen here to get a highest refresh rate, but do this, go up and choose the native Ultra HD and change your refresh rate to 120 and give that a try. So when I hit apply, and as soon as you have apply right now, it's changing up and boom, monitor is fixed. And you know, if it happens again, you can, you can drop it down again to say 119, even one hertz lower, or you can get a custom program to bring your refresh rate lower from 144 to, I don't know, 143 to see if that works. But if that doesn't work, then you drop it to 119. Spend $300, $400, whatever, to get a 144 hertz monitor and you drop it to 120, what's the point? At least you can save your money until you get a new one. So yeah, guys, that's the video. That's the only way to fix it for now is to drop the refresh rate.